So I am in Katana 2.6 version 3 and first of all I would like to see that which renderer is installed in it. So first of all press tab key and then press RS, R is for rendering settings and here you can zoom it and zoom out by scrolling and here we have a box which is not visible but if I zoom this you can see and click on this area you will get this uh, green box and you will get these parameters I can see the render is pixel render man and if you have Arnold also will be there so now this is how we can check that which render we are working with and I don't need right now so delete it it was needed for checking the render now first thing we have to go to help and click on this I want pony and here we have a pony pony means a donkey and this is a geometry I have here which is uh, by default in katana and now we need to have tab key and cc cc means camera quit so we need to create a camera otherwise uh, katana won't work at all so now we have camera now we have this geometry select both of them press m key so you'll get this merge node like nuke now if i right click and preview the render we go for monitor you can see the render is here is happening but you can see uh, there is nothing because of we don't have any kind of light in it neither we have any shader so first of all we need to create shader in it so press tab key and m stack material stack and how we are going to get this material stack that m s so if i press tab m s will get this material stack so the first like initial you are going to press you will get this node material stack is like a group of materials so you can click on this area you can see you can add material here add material and here you can put the name in it so this is going to be pony underscore mlt and here we have add shader so bxdf shader i need to have here and here you can see d d for default and i need to have this pixel surface and you can see this is l l for local local means uh, user has done something in it that is why this is looking yellow and l this is how we can understand that which parameter is edited so this is a very nice and handy feature so I have got a material in it and now I can plug this out here in this triangle and you have this I, I1, I2 this is how it indicates that identification of it now if I right click on this and take a preview take a preview I can see that nothing is there because we don't have any kind of uh, uh, light in it so light I'm going to assign but before assigning the light I have to assign this material but material is created but it is not assigned yet so I need to assign the material first so first of all take this M and assign material assign so material assign means is what that you are going to assign the material which was created so as soon as you get this material assign node press alt G and then only you'll get this material assign stack and this is also a group of stack which is going to be assign uh, material in it so first of all click on this area this is the button for editing any node now we have seen this uh, assign material assign node here and here you can see I can put it right here and here we have material name so if I click on this this is an outliner like in inside Maya so here I have this but there is material in it because of 
So double click on this because of you can see double click on this and this blue box should be there then only you can get this everything in outliner so otherwise you cannot get that so here if I go to viewer it will take time to activate all of this and you can have this pony here and here we have this camera this small camera and this camera this is the rectangle box which is the direction of the camera now this is perspective so how you can get this uh, camera view so here we have this perspective and go for camera so you can go for this camera like this or else you can click on this and another way that you can click on this camera middle mouse drag and drop here so this is how you can get this camera in the viewport uh, camera view and I can see scroll zoom in zoom out exactly like Maya there is no changes in here because of uh, lots of people will be coming from Maya to Tana so they will be having the tendency to compare this software with the Ma uh, Ma Maya so this is how it is and now you can see each and everything is you know opened up expanded then only you can see everything here so we have this uh, pony and we have this material and then you have to assign this material I we going to assign the material so click on this and just middle mouse drag and drop here so now this is the material we have assigned it here but where which geometry is going to be having this material so you have this add statement click on this button click on this path and you have this section this is going to be the geometry section so this is a pony is a geometry drag and drop and middle mouse drag and drop here so that means is what just imagine this is a material assign this is the geometry and this is the material very simple and if i can rename this one so this is pony mlt assign so now we can understand properly that pony material assign node is this this is not a material this is an assignment of this material so this is a geometry this is a material and now what i have to do we have to just drag and drop it here this is how we can assign the material to a geometry so now we need this light so tab and grapher 3 is going to be the light section yes the name is different but this is how it is drag and drop it here click on this button to edit it click on this this button to add it in this list so if both the thing is there both this square then only you can see this thing into your uh, viewer viewer means uh, in your viewport so now in this case this is the light I have here but here I don't have a light right click on this add light and go for this pixel dome light which is very useful and you have this pixel dome light are you going to uh, have this kind of uh, attribute editor so if I scroll down you'll get this material material means is not at all like material this is attribute editor inside Maya so this is exactly the thing that you are getting these options to manipulate these parameters so you have this exposure make it two. now as soon as you do that you can see you have L L means local I have told you earlier that this is not D anymore D, D means default L for local so everybody can understand that uh, this section this parameter is uh, tweaked or changes has been done by this parameter so this is a very nice feature now this is a color I have here so click on this color section and you can have any kind of color here like this this is the color of your light in this case I'm going to take this white light only and 
Now this is the intense uh, exposure I have here and now see right click on this and preview this and go for this and you can see we have this render and this render is happening inside Katana with render man and we're getting the pony and with uh, no noise very little bit of noise is there and actually this is very fast than uh, this Maya and you can see we have the assignment of this material so this is the material don't forget that this is assignment only and this is the material material means you can change the material color if I click on this triangle so here we have a color click on this and you can choose any color you have here and choose ok so this is the color I have here for my pony so if I right click on this and preview this and go for this monitor you can see the color is changing that means is what that my pony the assignments of the shader is happening in a proper way so this is how you can use this katana for the first time to render any image and later on I'll show you that a uh, few more features that how you're going to apply in it and to get a uh, nice looking result so this is the very basic and foundation of Katana with render man that how we're going to assign materials and how we're going to have lights in your scene how to use this outliner and a little bit of uh, you know demonstration I have showed you hope you have liked it thanks a lot for watching